welcome to rose project this rose project is conducted by rayat shikshan sansthas sadguru gadge maharaj college karad myself ds patil my subject is physics today we have to discuss ac circuit this is our fifth lecture on ac circuit in this lecture we have to study lc law oscillations electric resonance sharpness of resonance that is q factor and choke coil first of all we have to discuss lc oscillations now if we consider a capacitor or inductor these are the stores energy in their electric and magnetic field respectively that is capacitor stores the energy in the form of electrical energy and inductors are stores the energy in the form of magnetic fields that is ue that is electric energy is given by q square upon twice c that q is the charge c is the capacity of capacitor that is ue is equal to q square upon y c or this can be also written as 1 by 2 cv square that is v is the potential difference developed across the plates of the capacitor and the magnetic energy magnetic energy or the energy in the form of magnetic field is can be written as u b is equal to 1 by 2 l square where l is the self inductance of that inductor and i be the current flowing to that inductor now when when we consider fully charged capacitor connected to an inductor electric field transfers into equivalent magnetic field while discharging that is when we consider fully charged capacitor is connected to the inductor then it will be discharged by flowing the current that is when fully charged capacitor connected to an inductor electric field is transferred into equivalent magnetic field while discharged that is electric energy is converted into magnetic energy magnetic field uh, magnetic field energy is converted into the electric field energy that is when discharging a capacitor completes capacitor completes all the energy stored in the capacitor will be stored in the inductor that is when while when discharging of capacitor complete while discharging while discharging electric energy is converted into magnetic energy but when we consider when we consider discharging complete all the energy stored in the capacitor that is in the form of electrical energy will be converted fully converted into the magnetic energy which is stored in the inductor now inductor will starts charging the capacitor now reverse process is uh, starting now and inductor will start charging the capacitor magnetic energy which is stored in the inductor is transfers into equivalent electrical energy that means we conclude that while discharging electrical energy is converted into the magnetic energy and while charging the capacitor with the help of inductor the magnetic energy is transferred into electrical energy this process of charging this process of charging and discharging repeated and due to which energy keeps oscillating energy keeps oscillating now from, from this we conclude that when a charged capacitor when a charged capacitor is allowed to discharge through a non resistive inductor electrical oscillation of constant amplitude and frequency are happened or produced these oscillations are called lc oscillation that means when when there is a discharging electrical energy is converted into the mag magnetic energy while charging through a inductor the magnetic energy is converted into the electrical energy that means energy is oscillating in electric to magnetic and magnetic to 
electric that is when the charge capacitor is allowed to discharge through a non resistive inductor electrical oscillation of constant amplitude and frequency are produced these oscillations are called as a lc oscillator lc oscillator now undamped oscillations undamped oscillation that is if there is a no loss of energy if there is no loss of energy amplitude of oscillation remains constant such oscillation are called as a undamped oscillations damped oscillation that means in which oscillations in which energy loss energy will be lose there or energy will be lost as a heat or in terms of the electromagnetic waves and in that case amplitude goes on decreasing amplitude goes on decreasing and such a oscillations are called as a damped oscillation now we have to discuss the uh, in detail that is lc oscillation as first of all if we consider if we consider char fully charged capacitor is connected is connected to an purely inductor purely inductor having inductance l initially at a time t is equal to 0 or at uh, t is equal to 0 the energy in a capacitor energy will be stored in the form of electrical energy in 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 the capacitor and there is no current to the circuit initially therefore there is no magnetic energy in the inductor therefore we can write here ue is equal to max or ue is max or ub is equal to zero that is total energy stored in the electrical energy therefore we can write here maximum energy or the total energy is in the form of electrical energy now after time t is equal to t by 8 where t capital t is the time period of that oscillation t is equal to t by 8 at that time at that time the uh, capacitor goes on decreasing or uh, discharging capacitor goes on discharging while the current flowing through the circuit while discharging the uh, capacitor current flowing through the inductor goes on increasing that is there may be a change in the current that is zero to uh, increasing value due to which the emf will be induced in that inductor and therefore the energy energy will be stored in the inductor and in this case in this case at a certain time or at t is equal to t by 8 we get the um, magnetic energy magnetic energy stored in the inductor will be equal to the mag uh, electrical energy in the capacitor therefore we can write here at t is equal to t by 8 u e is equal to u b now in third case that is at t is equal to 2 t by 8 the capacitor will be fully discharged in this case in this case the total energy which is in the capacitor which the energy stored in the capacitor will be fully transferred will be fully transferred into the magnetic energy which is stored in the inductor therefore at that time at that time that is 2 is, uh, t is equal to 2t by 8 u is equal to 0 and u b is maximum that is total energy in the form of magnetic energy now at next time at next instant that is t is equal to 3t by 8 at that time at that time also at that time also here it is now capacitor now capacitor is goes on the capacitor goes on charging with the help of inductor here at that time at that time inductor uh, flows the current in the same direction uh, in the same direction but here it is there is a, a discharge uh, sorry there is a flowing of current due to which the capacitor goes on charging the capacitor goes on charging in the same direction but here it is the positive charges positive charges and negative charges are in reverse of that second case therefore here it is u is equal to u b that is magnetic energy which is stored in the inductor while go transferred into the electrical energy in this case the capacitor goes on charging with the help of inductor 
at next instant that is at t is equal to 4t by 8 at that time the capacitor is fully charged capacitor is fully charged and that is energy in the inductor will become zero and the total energy or energy in the system will be in the form of electrical energy but if we observe this case with the with the first case that we consider we consider that positive charges at the lower plate and negative charges on the upper plate but in first case positive charges are at the upper plate and the negative charge are the uh, lower plate here now in this case electrical energy is maximum and magnetic energy is zero now after this case after this case that is at t is equal to 5 t by 8 u e that is capacitor goes on discharging capacitor goes on discharging that is in the reverse manner in the reverse manner that is in second case in second case the current is flowing to in a anti clockwise says we can consider but in the in the sec, uh, sixth case that is at t uh, t is equal to 5 t by 8 the capacitor goes on discharging in the reverse minus or the in a clockwise sense that is in this case also the electrical energy is converted into the magnetic energy and at that time t is equal to 5 t by 8 uv is equal to uv that is electrical energy will be equal to the magnetic energy now after the uh, after at time t is equal to 6 t by 8 in this case also in this case capacitor goes on fully discharged and the magnetic energy is stored in the uh, our energy in the system is stored in the form of magnetic energy therefore we can write here u is equal to 0 and u b is equal to maximum or u b becomes maximum total energy in the form of magnetic energy here now at t is equal to 70 by 8 again we get again we get the uh, charging again we get the charging of the capacitor with the help of inductor with the help of magnetic energy stored in the inductor now in this case in this case uh, we get the positive charges are accumulated on the upper plate and negative charges are accumulated at the lower plate now the capacitor when the capacitor is fully charged cap when the capacitor is fully charged the total at t is equal to t at t is equal to t we get the total energy is in the form of electrical energy and the magnetic energy stored in the inductor is zero now this is a similar to first case this is similar to first case that means from this discussion we conclude that electrical energy stored in the capacitor is uh, transfers into magnetic energy while discharging the capacitor and again while charging the capacitor while charging the capacitor with the help of inductor magnetic energy will be transferred into the electrical energy this oscillation these oscillations of uh, this electrical oscillation that is uh, energy oscillation that means magnetic energy is converted into electrical energy electrical energy converted into magnetic energy these are happening with a certain time period therefore we can consider as a these are the lc oscillation these oscillation are happen happen with the help of inductor and capacitor therefore we can say that here it is lc oscillations now next point of the our uh, lecture is the electrical electric resonance now electric resonance is an in ac circuit in ac circuit with inductor and capacitor that is in about discussion we can consider the lc oscillation from this we conclude that or we can say that electrical resonance that is in ac circuit with inductor and capacitor when the frequency of ac is gradually changed at a certain frequency at a certain frequency the impedance becomes maximum or minimum this condition is called as a electric resonance electric resonance that means that 
uh, in an AC circuit with inductor and capacitor when because of inductor or the inductance L or capacitor C that in that circuit when the frequency of AC is gradually changed because the uh, depending on the frequency inductance is depends inductance is there or coefficient of self inductance or coefficient of uh, capacitive reactance capacitive reactance or inductive reactance are depends that therefore we can say that when the frequency of ac is gradually changed at a certain frequency impedance becomes maximum or minimum this condition is called as a electric resonance and such a circuit is called as a resonant circuit the, such circuit is called as a resonant circuit there are two types of the resonant circuit one is the series resonant circuit and another is the parallel resonance circuit series resonance circuit and parallel resonance circuit now first of all we have to discuss the series resonance circuit in this case as we know the uh, lcr series circuit that is inductor l capacitor c and resistor r or resistor of having the resistance r are connected in series combination with the alternating source alternating current source e that is when we connected this alternating source e with the lcr series circuit let i be the current instantaneous current i with the uh, flowing through the circuit and this current i in that in this circuit is same in phase with the each element that is we can consider that inductor l capacitor c and resistor r are connected in series with ac source with ac source in this case as we know impedance z of this lcr series circuit is given by z is equal to z is equal to under root r square plus into bracket omega l minus 1 upon omega c bracket square where omega l is the inductive reactance and 1 upon omega c that is xc we can consider that 1 upon omega c is the capacitive reactance this capacitive reactance or inductive reactance is depends on the frequency of that circuit or frequency of the ac source we can say that z is equal to z is equal to under root r square plus omega l minus 1 upon omega c bracket square that is equal to under root r square plus xl minus xc bracket square now at low frequency as we know xl is directly proportional xl is directly proportional to the frequency and uh, xc is inversely proportional of the frequency therefore when we consider low frequency that is at low frequency xl is negligible and xc is very high very high that is when there is a low frequency xl is becomes very small very small and xc is very high now at high frequency at high frequency xc that is the capacitive reactance uh, capacitive reactance become negligible and inductive reactants have the very high value now if we uh, consider there is an increase in the frequency of the ac source ac source at some angular frequency at some angular frequency omega r that is resonance frequency we can say here that inductive uh, reactants be, becomes equal to the capacitive reactant that is we can say that xl is equal to xc here that is at some angular frequency now at that time at that time impedance becomes minimum impedance becomes minimum because the second term second terms be, uh, is becomes zero second term becomes zero at that time impedance that is z becomes minimum that is z minimum is equal to under root r square that is equal to r here now due to which the impedance becomes minimum the current becomes maximum that means the maximum current flowing through that lcr series circuit at 
at the some angular frequency that is omega r that that's uh, maximum current flowing to the circuit is given by i0 is equal to e0 upon z that is equal to e0 upon r here now in series resonance circuit we can define the series resonant frequency fr that is the frequency of ac for which resonance takes place and maximum current flows through the circuit that is frequency of ac for which the resonance takes place that means when the impedance becomes minimum here impedance become minimum and maximum current flowing through the circuit in lcr series circuit at that frequency the frequency of ac for which the resonance takes place and maximum current flowing through the circuit such a frequency is called as a series resonant circuit the series is resonant frequency now the condition for the resonance is the condition for the resonance is that is z is equal to z minimum z is equal to z minimum or i is equal to i max that is maximum current flowing through the circuit the condition is xl is equal to xc or in other words we can say that the resultant resultant reactance of the circuit becomes zero that is xl minus xc is equal to zero we can say that the resultant reactance becomes zero or we can in other words we can say that the reactance of the inductive reactance being becomes equal to the capacitive reactance that is xl is equal to xc at that time uh, in lcr series circuit impedance becomes minimum and the maximum current flowing through the circuit now if we put the values of xl at a resonance frequency that is we can say that omega r into l is equal to 1 upon omega r into c omega r into c that is omega r bracket square is equal to we can uh, write here omega r bracket square is equal to 1 upon lc 1 upon lc now as we know the omega r angular frequency is related to the frequency of the ac as 2 pi r 2 pi sorry 2 pi f r 2 pi f r is equal to omega r therefore we can write here 2 pi f r bracket square is equal to 1 upon l c and from this relation from this relation we can write here f r that is resonance frequency series resonance frequency f r is equal to 1 upon 2 pi under root l c 1 upon 2 pi under root l c that is the resonance frequency if we plot the graph of if we plot the graph of current flowing through the lcr series circuit versus frequency we can get the graph as shown in figure at at some uh, frequency at some frequency fr we get the maximum current flowing through the circuit and at that time the impedance becomes zero the impedance becomes zero therefore the maximum current flowing through the lcr series circuit at that time at this fr at that resonant frequency the xl becomes equal to the xc xl becomes equal to the xc now this circuit series resonant circuit at a resonant condition at a resonant condition is very useful for radio and tv receivers for tuning the signal from desired transmitting station that is for tuning the uh, tv or for tuning the radio the tuning the signals from the desired transmitting station we can use the series resonant circuit now we can discuss the another resonance circuit that is parallel resonance circuit in parallel resonance circuit we can connect the inductor l and capacitor c are parallel to each other and this parallel combination of lc is connected to the ac source ac source therefore we can write here inductor l and capacitor connected in parallel with ac source of emf e now as we know the instantaneous current through the inductor instantaneous current through the inductor because current flowing through the each element goes on uh, divides here total current i be the flowing through the circuit but at this junction at this junction the current will be divided i l be the 
current flowing to the inductor and IC be the current flowing to the capacitor. These two currents are are have the phase difference with each other because the induct in inductor or instantaneous current through the inductor I L is equal to E zero upon X L into sine of omega t minus pi by two. That is here it is we can say that the current flow in inductor is lags behind the EMF by the phase difference of pi by two. And we can uh, say in case of the capacitor, in case of the capacitor, we write here instantaneous current to the capacitor is IC is equal to E0 upon XC into sine of sine of omega T plus pi by 2. That is current flowing to the capacitor is leads, leads the voltage, leads the EMF by the phase difference of pi by 2. From these two equations, we conclude that the current flowing to the inductor and current flowing to the capacitor in a parallel resonance circuit, in a parallel combination of this LC circuit, parallel combination of LC circuit, there may be a phase difference of phase difference of pi radian here. That is current uh, phase difference between currents in a inductor and the capacitor have the uh, phase difference of pi radian because here it is pi by 2 uh, phase difference here it is pi by 2 and that becomes the phase difference becomes between this current these two currents are be between the current flowing to the two branches of this circuit have the phase difference of pi radian here now total current total current to circuit that is i is equal to is equal to e0 into cos of into cos omega t cos omega t into 1 upon xl 1 up, sorry 1 upon xc minus 1 upon xl now we can write here we can write here i is equal to e0 into cos omega t into cos omega t into 1 upon omega c we can write here omega c minus 1 upon omega l is right can we can write here minus 1 upon omega c that is I is equal to E0 cos omega t into bracket omega c minus 1 upon omega l here. Now, at some frequency, at some frequency we can, some angular frequency, we can say that XL is equal to XC. That is the inductive reactance, inductive reactance and capacitive reactance depends on the frequency and at some angular frequency, these two reactances becomes equal that is xl is equal to xc here at this case at this case the impedance becomes maximum impedance becomes maximum and due to which we can say here the impedance becomes z max and due to which the current becomes minimum that is minimum current will be flowing will be flowing to that circuit here impedance become maximum current becomes minimum in a parallel resonance circuit. Now, we can say that parallel resonance frequency, the frequency of AC for which resonance takes place, resonance takes place and minimum current flowing through the circuit is called as a parallel resonance frequency. Now, the condition for resonance is in parallel combination, in a parallel resonance circuit, the condition for resonance is Impedance becomes maximum that is Z is equal to Z max or I is equal to I minimum that is the condition for resonance is XL is equal to XC or net resultant net resultant uh, inductive reactance becomes zero that is in we can say that XL or XC XC minus xl is equal to 0 or in other words we can say that omega rc minus 1 upon omega rl is equal to 0 that is in uh, above case here in above case here we can write here omega c minus 1 upon omega l this quantity this quantity becomes equal to 0 at the resonance frequency that is omega r into C minus 1 upon omega R into L is equal to 0 here. From this equation we can write here 
omega r bracket square is equal to 1 upon lc and there, therefore we can write here 2 pi f r bracket square is equal to 1 upon lc and from this equation from this equation resonant frequency resonant frequency at parallel combination also we can write here f r is equal to 1 upon 2 pi under root lc but if we plot the graph of current flowing through the circuit, parallel resonance circuit and frequency, we get the graph in this nature, in this manner. That is, at some resonance frequency fr, the impedance becomes, impedance becomes maximum and the current flowing through the circuit becomes minimum, i minimum the current at the frequency fr, fr. Now, this parallel resonance circuit at a resonant condition is very useful in wireless transmission or radio communication and filter circuit filter circuit now characteristic we can discuss in summarized manner summarizing series resonance circuit and parallel resonance circuit that is characteristics of series resonance circuit and parallel resonance circuit now first characteristic of the series resonance circuit is at resonance occurs in a series resonance circuit, resonance occurs when XL is equal to XC or in other words, we can say that XL minus XC is equal to 0 or net reactance of the circuit becomes equal to 0 or we can say that XL is equal to XC. This is the condition for resonance. Now, in parallel combination or circuit also, same condition is here. Resonance occurs when XL is equal to XC here. Resonance frequency in series resonance circuit is given by fr is equal to 1 upon 2 pi under root lc. Same formula in case of the parallel resonance circuit also. That is for resonance frequency fr is equal to 1 upon 2 pi under root lc. Third, uh, third characteristic of the series resonance circuit is impedance becomes minimum. In case of parallel resonance circuit, impedance becomes maximum. Now, fourth characteristic when current becomes maximum that is when the impedance become minimum as uh, we can say that current is uh, maximum flowing or maximum current flowing to the circuit at resonant condition in parallel resonance circuit the current becomes minimum fifth this series resonance circuit is also called as a acceptor circuit acceptors because uh, only some uh, frequency can be accepted here uh, sorry in parallel resonance circuit parallel resonance circuit is called as a sorry there it one mistake here now last point is the choke coil now last point is the choke coil here series uh, resistance are used resistances are used to reduce current to reduce current in ac circuit Resistances are used to reduce the current in AC circuit, but there is a loss of electrical energy due to Joule heating. That is, we know that the I square R, I square R uh, is the current, I square R T, that is the heat produced in that circuit. That is, resistors are used to reduce the current in its AC circuit, but there is a loss of electrical energy due to Joule heating. That is, heat is produced due to the resistance now there is a inductor or choke coil is an inductor the choke coil we can use the choke coil for this minimizing this jeweling heat jewel heating a choke coil is an inductor used to reduce the alternating current passing through the circuit without loss of heat that is if we use the resistance there may be loss of uh, loss of energy loss of energy due to joule heating this loss of energy will be reduced with the help of choke coil and choke coil is an inductor used to reduce the alternating current passing through the circuit without loss of energy it offers the large resistance it offers the choke coil offers the large resistance that is xl is equal to omega l to flow the ac and the current will be reduced the average power dissipated in choke is P average is equal to IRMS 
in sorry p average is equal to e rms into i rms into cos phi and now the power factor this term cos phi is nothing but the power factor power factor cos phi is equal to r divided by under root r square plus omega square l square and for choke coil or purely uh, inductor in pure case in purely inductor or for choke coil l is very high that is inductor is very high the and r is very small r is resistance of the uh, purely inductor or purely choke coil r is very small so that we can say that we, we can say that this cos phi is nearly zero cos phi that is power factor becomes nearly zero and therefore the power loss is very small in the choke coil thank you